Good morning, folks. We're going to take a quick look at space weather, then run down the top news stories of the day with a very juicy one-two punch at the end. We're starting with our star, and we're seeing that apart from the filaments we could watch in the corona and ejecting in the red 304 angstrom view, nothing is erupting in Earth's direction, not even those bright sunspots. So we're going to take that quiet for now and head over to the polar bears, who are supposed to be unadaptable and basically toast here as the climate is changing. Oops, yet again. Like the monarchs we discussed earlier in the week, or the krill, phytoplankton, or anything else we've seen them actually look at, as opposed to just model. Up next, we're looking at a Mars meteorite that shakes up their models of planetary formation timeline, and how and where the chemistry of our modern system began. Complex concepts, but worth the read. We're using Chandra next to find a pulsar hiding inside a nova remnant. They say this one was only able to be seen due to an X-ray speed trap, they call it. And without Chandra to see the x-rays, we wouldn't have seen this pulsar within the nebula at all. And speaking of pulsars, they just found the most powerful one in a distant galaxy. Monster strength and emission from this guy, which is also the result of a past Nova event, as they all are. From core rotator to the outer shell artist's impressions there. Up next, wow, the fastest Nova on record. Speaking of the flash and dimming back in only one day. They have other factoids in the work, and one falsehood, that all Nova come from white dwarfs with binaries. And no, my veteran observers, they still don't know Nova. Sure, I could do what we did yesterday, point you to where in the books we could find all the evidence of single Nova without a binary, or Nova events on giant stars, including hypergiants, but that's just not the same as if I had a paper about a giant star repeatedly firing off to share with you today. Darn. Up next, they found a supermassive star in the galaxy that is pounding out violent mass ejections, also known as Nova, every 200 years. So that's tiny white dwarfs with binaries, single stars, red and yellow supergiants, and in truth, everything in between if you follow all the papers. And as we'll learn with our eyes this century, the sun can do it too. We greatly appreciate your support. If you don't have the textbooks, you can find all of that background as well as the facts on the coming solar micronova in the Earth Disaster playlist. Find it right below the video in the description box. Folks, there will be no Sunday show as we take that day off to be with the family, but subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.